Hey guys, this is Emily Gardner, and I'm actually in uh, a different location today. I'm on a field trip, and I'm actually at my uncle uh, JD and Aunt Carolyn's house. They were kind enough to let me come and film, so I uh, definitely thank them for this. I wanted to highlight some things that when I was visiting, I saw, and I definitely want to show you guys what they're doing to their tomato plants. It is a excellent thing. And um, it's similar, it's very similar to the Back to Eden Garden. Actually, it is, it is very, very close to the Back to Eden Garden, um, except for the fact that he's not using manures and stuff. So, basically what you got here is uh, really, really beautiful butterfly bushes, by the way, in the back there. Um, totally beautiful, awesome, never seen butterfly bushes that big. Um, but what I can say is that these tomato plants are the healthiest that I've seen, healthier than mine at the cottage, and uh, much more profuse fruiting as well. Um, I mean, as you can see, the Roma's just loaded with Roma's, and um, then you got the uh, the the Bonnie Best, and just absolute tons of tomatoes. But the thing that they're doing awesome here is that they have so much mulch. They're mulching their tomatoes, and I wanted to highlight this because uh, I think I think mulching your tomatoes is a absolutely key thing to do. Um, even if you're not doing it at a large scale, uh, like the guy does in the Back to Eden Garden, it's very key because uh, it keeps moisture near the roots of the plant, but it also prevents um, any blight. I mean, as you guys can see, there is no yellow leaves at all, none. And we've had the most, uh, we've had the wettest, coldest summer I've had in a long time gardening, and you just don't have the the blight that you usually get, like I have at the cottage, because there's no bare soil to bounce up and um, and get on these leaves. I mean, they are perfect. They are uh, not cracking at all. And that's another thing is that when you have even moisture, you don't get the cracking, you don't get the blossom end rot um, that you do with tomatoes uh, that aren't mulched. And I wanted to highlight this because I definitely think that it's something that everyone should try. And I definitely also would recommend trying mulching a couple tomatoes. These these varieties right here look to be a uh, a determinate variety. They don't look too tall, so they're not indeterminate. But um, but I mean they are just responding so well to this. And I I can personally say that it's definitely due to the mulching. I mean like everything in here is just so lush, so so huge and so vibrant. I mean I've never ever ever seen uh, the the hostas that large in my life either. And I've seen lots of hostas working, working at greenhouses and doing landscaping. That is unbelievable for that, for that big of a hosta. And, and I'm, I'm serious, I think, it's, I think it's due to this, this really heavy mulching here. Um, and it totally goes along with what the guy was saying back to Eden, because uh, I mean, there is just tons and tons of mulch. I mean, that, that's a good probably three or four inches deep and it still goes down and it's, it's not hard at all to dig down there. And then once you dig down, you see have absolutely beautiful black soil. So I'm sure it's rich with nutrients and uh, worm castings and um, just it's beautiful stuff. So I wanted to bring you guys along for this, especially because um, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this, given the fact that I'm at college. It's going well so far. So I thank you guys for the support. I thank you guys for uh, sticking with me through this awesome journey. And um, definitely look for more of this kind of stuff because I think that People do do things right and um, things that I, that I don't do. And so it's really great to highlight those things and to be able to bring it to you guys' attention that there are definitely other ways to garden. There are definitely other ways to grow your food. And, um, and I mean, these, these tomatoes are totally, uh, just, totally just in here. And they're totally just combined in with the, the landscaping. And, um, and uh, the landscaping just looks beautiful. So, you know, it definitely doesn't look like an eyesore like some people would think tomatoes in landscaping does, uh, but I think it looks great, and I think they're doing a great job, and so, uh, you know, kudos to them. So again, make sure to thank my Aunt Carolyn and Uncle JD for allowing me to film at their house. It's a pleasure, and um, definitely uh, look for more of these videos. So I thank you guys for coming along with me. Again, this is Emily Gardner, reminding you guys to grow bigger at home. See ya. Bye.